any of you had siblings growing up, or even a really close friend, maybe you've experienced this. You're doing your thing or having a conversation, and then all of a sudden, there's a small disagreement that quickly escalates and escalates, and then it turns into a super sophisticated style of debating or arguing. And it goes something like this. Nuh-uh, uh-huh, nuh-uh, uh-huh. I grew up as a middle child, so I got to dish it out and hear it from both of my sisters. Sometimes we'd figure out a compromise, and other times it just kept going and going. Thankfully, we've grown up and matured and have a much healthier way of disagreeing today. But when I stop to think about what any disagreement is about, it's because deep down, no matter how old we are, we all want to be right. And we want to be right all the time. We want to be wise, we want to prove that we have all the answers and that we are acting in the most justified way. We want people to respect us and think of us as the person who does all the right things and always acts justly. In fact, in Psalm 106.3, it says, Blessed are those who act justly, who always do what is right. The writer is saying that there are actually good things and good blessings that come from acting justly and doing what is right. So there's nothing wrong with trying to do the right thing and trying to act justly. But what I've realized is that no matter how hard I try, no matter how much I want to get it right, no matter how justly I want to act, I'm not perfect. I'll never always be right and always act justly, but I do know who is. My Father in Heaven does act justly. He always does what's right. So in times when I do need to be just and do what is right, I'll look to Him as my guide and hopefully point others to Him. Today, I want to leave you with a question. In light of the fact that we always want to be right, but we don't always get it right, it leaves us with the tendency to want to justify ourselves when we aren't right. So here's the question. When was the last time you honestly invited God to prove you wrong?